Surely, you're all aware of the word of Macbeth. The idea is that it's a bad luck to say the word in a theater. Many believe it's because the word, if said in a theater, causes horrible misfortune. There are numerous theories to as of why this may be. Some people believe that Shakespeare took lines from an actual coven of witches who took great offense when they saw the play, and so they cursed it. Another story states that the man in charge of props could not find a suitable port or pot for a cauldron in the play, and so stole one from a coven of witches, who then in turn cursed the play in revenge. It is believed that saying the name of the play breaks the taboo and angers these witches, who appear as spirits and cause mishaps during the production. This is where the story gets real. Superstition or not, people who say the word in a theater, jokingly or not, have suffered from horrible accidents that were oftentimes fatal. During the first premiere of the play, one of the actors who said the word died tragically on stage after a real dagger was used in place of a prop. Due to a large number of fight scenes in the play, accidents like this are incredibly common. Not everyone dies, but many people over the years have ended up severely injured after saying the name of the play. Shakespeare himself also used the curse to guarantee that nobody after himself would be able to direct the play. He used it before in the performance to, you know, the King and James and I, and the Scottish Heritage. When the word got back to him that the, that the King had not enjoyed the play, it destroyed him inside. And so, for the rest of his life, Shakespeare knew only himself would only refer to Macbeth as a Scottish play. So, with that being said, <laughs> for those of you who did say the word, let's say, out of a joking manner, because we all know you're not that stupid, why don't we tell you about a ritual that can not only cure you of your horrible, horrible misfortune, but rather give you fortune and good luck for the rest of your lives by being, well, in the favor of the witches. Next time you're in a theater, stand on an empty floor. Place your hands by your side, look down, close your eyes. Under your breath, say the word Macbeth. You require maximum concentration, a minute or so you will pass, your senses will become numb. You'll feel a cold chill, do not open your eyes, and the three beings will surround you. If you open your eyes, <laughs> you will surely die. For now you are surrounded by the ghosts of the three witches. With your eyes still closed, look up and speak the words. Angels and ministers and grace defend us. This is from Hamlet 1 IV. Now stand and wait. You'll feel your skin begin to crawl. Remain perfectly still. After a minute or so, a wall of ice of cold wind will hit you. Once this has happened, open your eyes. Once more. Spin around three times. Spit over your left shoulder. You have now been cleansed of your curse. <laughs> and for your participation, the witches have granted you of eternal fortune. Now leave the theater and never return. Or you will be doomed to suffer a truly sticky ending. That's how the ritual goes, but what they don't tell you is that you have simply transferred the curse onto someone else. So, if you are stupid enough to say the word, don't think this is a get out of jail free card. Someone out there will be suffering greatly for your misfortune. That's how witches work, and it's not the best to fuck with. <laughs> <laughs>